that never gets old. Oh yeah, what's going on guys? Well, today we're gonna be doing a uh, transmission fluid change and differential fluid change on this Mustang. Um, yeah, I haven't really been seeing or feeling any issues with the shifts. Uh, once in a while, from second to third, or going to second, or going to third, I get little notchy shifts, but we'll see if that clears up with this new BG fluid. I drove the car around to get the transmission oil a little warm, but yeah, I lifted the vehicle. I have these uh, Esco um, jack stands, and I have the uh, the BMR jacking rails. These really help out when lifting the car. Highly recommended. But as for transmission and differential oil, I went with um, the BG stuff. Look at that stuff. Yeah. Now this kit is from Optimum P Performance, not sponsored, but their kit for the differential and the transmission is solid. Great instructions if uh, you need them. Come with a bunch of uh, pumps, the cup to take out the uh, excess oil, and more pumps. But yeah, overall a very, very um, thought and put together kit. I was reading about this uh, BG fluid on the forums and it seems like everybody's pretty happy. I only have uh, 10,000 miles on this car, but you know, preventative maintenance. Woo, being a fat kid and trying to be under the car. I lifted up pretty, pretty high, pretty high. But here's the transmission and the drain plug is right here on the bottom and the fill plug is up there this is on the, dr the on the um, passenger side so drain plug on the bottom and fill plug is on the passenger side up uh, probably middle of the transmission but yeah let's drain this thing eight millimeter ratchety thing mm, safety mm. loosen the uh, fill plug first I haven't vlogged in a while, so I forgot to press the record button when I actually took out the drain plug. You can see right here, I took out the drain plug. It is dripping now. I'm just letting, letting it uh, drain all the way, but drained out. But yeah, that's that. Just take out the drain plug and all of the oil just falls right out. Now, I know some of y'all don't know me and uh, I mean, I'm pretty new to the Mustang crowd, so if you're watching this video, either you are one of my fans from before. Um, I used to do tech vid videos, and I'm still going to do tech videos. If you're wondering, I'm shooting this video on a G7X Mark III, and I'm uh, interchanging between 4K and 1080p on this camera. But, um, yeah, uh, the Mustang crowd. I mean, if you're new here, please subscribe, and if you have a Mustang, or if you have a, any kind of car, if you modify cars or work on your own car, what are you doing to your car? Let me know down in the description below. Interestingly enough, this uh, drain plug isn't magnetic. And it didn't have any um, shards on it or any metal pieces because it's not magnetic. But, yeah. This is the 18 to 20, I guess. I put some thread sealant tape on the threads. Now let's put it back into the transmission. The service manual says 26 foot-pounds and optimum says 25 foot-pounds so I think one of the two numbers would work, they're close enough. I'm going to use 25 foot-pounds. 25 foot-pounds, let's put this thing on. Okay. This is the fill plug and same thing as the drain plug. No magnet. Interesting. I just noticed this and it's a very easy look. It, says, it physically says drain and fill. <laughs> and can't be any more um, easier to read than that. It's kind of bougie, but uh, the Optimum kit comes with this cup and it's marked right here. So I measured this cup and from the bottom till the bottom of this line here, or this tape here, is around like seven and a half ounces and the uh, optimum performance in the instructions says that uh, the container is uh, seven ounces, about seven ounces too much fluid. So we're gonna drain seven ounces out of this uh, container and then pump the oil back into the transmission. It's not exact, but close enough. <sighs> yeah, 
Oh man, getting my work out. Oh, almost. Oh, getting there. Getting there. <laughs> There's a lot of fluid with the pump. Oh damn. I haven't pumped that much in a long time. The only thing that I have to um, remind you guys, if you guys do this, is to make sure this uh, the tube stays in the hole. You know, sometimes it try to pop out. You try to put pump it too fast, but yeah, just make sure it stays in the hole. Don't let it pop out. Now in the kit, Optimum gives you this zip tie with this uh, 90 degree bend and a little marker over here. So this is where you ideally want to have the oil fill it up to to this uh, orange line here. So what you gotta do is put it in the hole and hope for the best. Okay. Make sure it's uh, parallel to the uh, the screw holes and take it out. And yeah, it's good. I just splattered uh, <coughs> oil all over me. That's great. Woo! Gotta put the fill plug back in and we're Gucci. And it's off to the diff. I also put thread sealant on the uh, fill plug, but the fill plug is the same thing. Okay, there it goes. 25 foot pounds. Woo! Yeah! Okay. Back at the back of the car. That is the differential. And it's real simple. Top one is the fill, bottom one is the drain. It's a just a 3 8 inch ratchet, um, you know, the socket holder thing here, I don't know what it's called. But um, yeah, just put it in there and turn it to loosen them. I'm gonna loosen the fuel plug a little bit. Then drain it with that plug. drain plug for the differential is magnetic and I do have a little bit of uh, uh, you know metallic stuff right there when I uh, like the shavings or whatever you call it but no big particles so that's a good thing ooh yeah wow that is something okay yeah no big particles so I'm not too worried about it looks pretty healthy same thing for the differential drain plug and then for the fill plug too. I'm going to put this uh, thread sealant and 25 foot-pounds. The fill plug wasn't that bad for particles. I was tightening the drain plug for the differential and 25 seemed a bit much for that bolt because I was using the torque wrench and I got the 22, 23 and I was like I don't know, it's, it's kind of a lot. I mean, if I go in more, I might strip it. But um, yeah, so for the fill plug, I'm just gonna tighten it with the regular wrench and, uh, you know, snug. Good and tight, as, well, what the joke is, but yeah. Um, for the differential fluid, it's the same thing according to Optimum. Just uh, take out seven ounces. Here we go again, more pumping. Differential fluid, in. Looks good. Like I said this time, I'm just gonna snug it with the ratchet. No torque wrench because 25 seemed like it was gonna break off or something or strip out. Okay, initial impressions from the first drive around the block and hitting like 50 miles per hour. But yeah, wow, I see the hype and I feel the hype of the fluid. From uh, first to second, it, I mean, it's uh, like 80 degrees out right now, maybe a little cooler, but I guess people do say that in the winter weathers, in the colder weathers, uh, it might be a little notchy again, but in today's weather, just cold start from uh, just around the block, like first to second, no notchy, like it's a whole new transmission from second to third, first to second, you know, downshifting, upshifting, yeah, it's, 
it's freaking amazing. You guys gotta try this if you haven't already. It, I mean, I'm only 10,000 miles into the car and I thought the transmission shifted relatively pretty smooth because I come from the Miata world and we have notchy ass uh, transmissions. But, I mean, I thought this transmission was smooth, but it definitely is a different transmission with this fluid in it. And, like, it's super smooth. I have an MGW uh, shifter on the way while I ordered it yesterday. And hopefully it'll be in, they said, two or three weeks. So that's going to be exciting. So if you guys have watched to the end, thank you. Um, hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys got to know me a little bit. Um, definitely leave a comment down below and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, you know, until next time, peace out. Oh, yeah.